What's up guys, this is Jason from the Jason and Jabari Gaming and today I am going against some of the top players. Uh, last time I stopped streaming uh, Battlegrounds, I mentioned that I want to play against some of the best to become better myself, take the learning experiences, and uh, we are absolutely going to display that today. Um, the way that I know how to get better is to play up kind of like uh, in basketball when we were younger we played against the older kids and then eventually you you got on that level so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense but the first match that we are going against is none other than MSD um, please go check this guy out he's an awesome youtuber he's won the tournament back in the day that I mean this is one of the top players um, so uh, this is uh, me going to attempt to do something against MSD here, uh, but I'll leave a link to uh, his channel um, at the in the description as well as uh, Buddy Lee's. But um, yeah, so I wanted to um, nuke this fight. I thought I stood a really good chance at pushing around three, so I went with I-Bomb here, and uh, that ended up uh, being a mistake. Um, uh, I should have been a little more patient. I knew that he had um, the advantage with uh, mags, but uh, I bomb actually is pretty fast. It's just that sometimes you get a little slowed down by um, the uh, what is that called masochism. So I have everything sped up um, times two speed, so it's going pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, um, this was a mistake that I needed to learn because I need to learn a little bit more patience. Um, it's okay to lose a match, it's best two out of three. Sometimes you gotta make the sacrifice play is the takeaway that I learned from this. Um, and I need to do better because you shouldn't always go for it. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, that ended up costing me. I actually did relatively well. <laughs> Uh, in this fight but the problem again was masochism he was healing and that slowed down the time uh, I think I had him on health but uh, yeah I lost on time and as you can tell that cost me the points and uh, yeah uh, quite unfortunate so um, lesson learned there uh, but we still we still have a chance here uh, we still have a chance um, and then I ended up going with long shot as a defender I run 5 out of 5 MD so I figured that could be a problem for him and uh, yeah um, I picked Bishop against Thing who was horrible I should have picked I-Bomb versus Thing who's a great matchup but I got impatient and I chose wrong so now I have Bishop and I'm thinking well you know throw special ones I can get incinerate but again guys this masochism a whole different animal I gotta be a little more strategic in how I plan and choose my deck uh, to play around masochism normally it's not a problem but uh, speed definitely is a huge factor in this and um, yeah with that protection and stuff like that I just didn't take into account uh, I would be going this slow um, obviously this is sped up so it looks like I'm going really fast but I'm not and then I got tagged some um, got a little flustered uh, because the passive AI nowadays is just really frustrating guys it seems like in my opinion um, <laughs> when you get to a special two you can't bait it out to save your life and they just kind of stall get you in the corner or something like that and then um, also, you know, you can't do backdrafts anymore, <laughs> not really because they're so passive, but yeah, he just absolutely decimated me with that Spider-Man. He actually did a video on that. I'm going to leave that, uh, in the uh, description, but, uh, yeah, shout out to MSD, man, GG's, uh, and thank you for the learning lesson. Uh, next we have none other than DSVG's Buddy Lee, and I think I need to mention that MSD actually played for DSVG uh, a few seasons back as well. Uh, that's just me checking to make sure I'm recording. Uh, shout out to Buddy Lee. He's a really, really good friend of mine. Uh, we do incursions together. We're actually getting ready to do a 2v2, me and Buddy Lee versus Enzo Eigen and um, Lefty Knox. Uh, shout out to those guys. Uh, love those guys. Those are awesome, awesome YouTubers. Uh, definitely inspirations to me. Um, but uh, yeah, so this time me and Buddy are actually just facing off against each other. And uh, 
Buddy Lee's an amazing Tiger player, so obviously I got rid of his Tiger. <laughs> he tried to hide a little five star in there, but uh, we were too smart to let him play his Tiger game. We don't play those games here, buddy. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm picking my deck, and um, well, I guess we lost our war. Uh, I'm making sure I was still recording because I got it. I thought that was a notification, but that was just actually in game, so it threw me off. So I made sure I was still recording. Uh, and the first defender that I elect with is Man Thing. Uh, he's a he's a really good defender, guys. He's a really good defender, especially run five out of five MD. But I think part of my problem, honestly, is I have such a biased opinion with that five out of five MD that it kind of hinders my judgment. Uh, and you'll see that come into play here. Uh, again, I'm just kind of uh, criticizing myself on things that I need to improve on so I can become an overall better well-rounded player. Um, uh, he throws his kitty here um, against Archangel, so I do have a favorable matchup. He chose Red Mags versus my man thing. Uh, I already knew that was not going to happen, so I figured he was taking the sacrifice play. So as long as I could play relatively decent, I should win this fight. And uh, yeah, uh, 53 is a strong score. He didn't stand a chance on this one, in my opinion. Um, and we'll see the results here in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, 1-0 uh, lead coming up. Um, I don't know why it took so long. Oh yeah, we're waiting for him to to wind down the time but uh um here in a second you'll see that uh i definitely get the lead here but um i need to stop allowing mr dispersion to have such an impact on my decision making um sometimes it works out but the times that it doesn't then it, it's really costly and uh that's what i was gonna say um guys i've been hanging out in the top 100 uh i've gotten up to 51st place so i'm really proud of that achievement um and up here guys you got you really gotta you have to be strategic you have to be ruthless and you have to be smart right um and when you don't act that way <laughs> anybody up here can knock you off anybody um uh, because everybody up here is good it's like going from college to the pros everybody's good so um, you really have to understand what you're doing and then you get closer to the top. You have to understand who you're playing, right? Because that plays a factor at that point. Um, but here I thought I had a pretty decent matchup with Apocalypse versus Korg. Um, I think if Buddy Lee was still running suicides, honestly, I think I could have probably pulled out this one, maybe. Uh, because with Apocalypse, he doesn't uh, sh get to shrug off this, the ouchies. But uh, Buddy took off the suicide. So, yeah, he easily defeated me there uh, in 43 seconds. Um, and, uh, yeah, we took almost, we took pretty much double that time. But um, even if I hadn't won, it would have been a closer match. But here's what I was talking about, guys. Uh, I chose Dr. Doom because of Mr. Dispersion. I probably should have chose Penny Parker. Um, and he chose Surfer for his defender. I think he would have chose differently, but I think Penny Parker would have stalled out a lot longer than my Dr. Doom. But since I had five out of five MD, I chose Dr. Doom. Now this is round three, so we're, we're neck and neck here. But the problem is, first of all, he has, I think a rank four silver surfer. Um, I think i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure but even if it's a rank three he's a tanky boy right and every time with the masochism again i keep healing him back up we're almost a minute into this fight and he <laughs> is staying around 100 percent and it's like oh boy what did i do and that's what i'm talking about decision making guys you have to understand who you're playing number one and then you have to understand what you're doing here too uh the meta plays a huge part in deck making and deck building so it's okay that i have venom venom needs to stay because venom counters like a penny parker and or like a havoc that's good you want that so he's necessary but in this situation he wasn't necessary and he wasn't ideal and i should have thought about that a little bit longer and i might have had a different outcome but either way ggs to you buddy shout out to msd uh, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.